looking a little bit more interesting, right? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the elements that are into blue. You can do exactly the same thing with your actual company, with your brand, with your landing page. In my case, I'm going to just leave this like that. And then later on, what I want to do is to edit or say delete the elements that I don't want it to see. For example, this element, I'm going to just delete it. And here into elements, I'm going to type, let's say, for example, music. And here to have a lot of graphics that I can use totally for free. Let's say, for example, here I'm going to go into photos. And let's say that I wanted to use this one. So what I want to do is to use a pro element. So what I want to do is just to retract like this. I'm going to move this like that. I'm going to hit into edit my photo. And I'm going to go into the background remover. So this background remover is going to lift only my, uh, let's say my element, or in this case, my character in here. So there we go. So here into business analyst, analytic, let's go and delete, get your music. So I'm just going to make this like this. And here, what I want to do is to edit the element that I wanted to see or to, let's say, people to read. Let's say, for example, get now into register. Now, what I want to do is exactly the same thing is to change the color. I'm going to do this, let's say, for example, uh, like this. If you're into Spotify, I'm going to change the color for something like this. There we go. We have to do something really, really easy. So now what I want to do is to hit into plus. Now into plus. What I wanted to do is to add something, let's say, different here. Let's say that I wanted to get started with the about us, the service of the resources. So here into resources, I'm going to delete this. I'm just going to focus into about us and services. So I'm going to delete this like this and the about us like that. There we go. So I'm going to get started with the about us section. So what I want to do is to copy this title and paste that in here. Now it says about us. I'm going to just retract like this. I'm going to copy the same element and I'm going to paste that in here. And what I'm going to do is to flip this so I can put this into the other side of the page. Now into about us, I'm going to hit into text. I'm going to go and look out for something easy like this. So what I'm doing here is just to add the service. Of course, this is the actual price that advanced pro. Uh, later on, if I wanted to add it to, for example, like explain what is uh, like the main reason of the prices, I can add those in there. But this is just an example. Once again, what I just want to do is to, let's say, for example, hit into services. I hit into the right clicked and I hit into link. And here it says enter a linked or searched. I wanted to hit into the third element, which is actually this one, and hit into done and do exactly the same thing with the about us. So I want to link this for a second page and hit into done. So now I'm going to open the shell section and now I have the prototype. So the prototype is going to be publishing the design. In just a few clicks, I'm going to hit into open the prototype. And this is how it should be looking my actual presentation of the actual element. So I can click into services and boom, here it is. I can go back into about us and boom, there we go. So I want to go back here and instead of going with the prototype, let's go into download and here into file typed. You have the PNG file, you have the GPG file, the PDF standard, or let's go and look out for the web design for an animation. You wanted to show this as an actual website. The web style, it should be scrolling or the classic navigation or whatever people. Let's go into look out for scrolling and hit into open the website. So my website is now generated. So as you can see, it is actually looking really great. But if you focus into the if links about us, services there we go it's looking really really great our actual new landing page and this is totally for free so what is left to be done is just to copy your element and paste it into whatever place you wanted to so as you can see it was really easy to get started creating something into canva totally free so hopefully this was very useful information for you if you wanted to add let's say for example animations you can do it you can go back you can select your elements and hit into animate the possibilities are truly endless what you just need to do is just to figure out which are the elements that you wanted to see into your actual website and all of that should be appearing 
once you are ready into your new website so as you can see it is looking really really great so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys if you want to see more elements of how you can get started with landing pages into canva to leave you free thank you so much for watching the video guys we truly love that you're still here watching our videos so thank you once again for watching this video guys hopefully i can see you on the actual next video see you soon Thank you.